welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. It is Christmas in July and it's Thursday. So that means new Christmas DIYs for you. You guys loved last week's video. So I could not wait to do more Christmas inspirational DIYs. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. For this DIY, you're just gonna grab some Dollar Tree signs, okay? We need a rectangle and we need two squares. So maybe you have those shapes already. I didn't, so I have to cut mine. So I'm using this, which I'm recycling. I've cut it before. I wish I would have cut it just a little bit longer though, but you guys, you do you, cut them however you want. So I am just using my box cutter here and these cut very easily if you have a sharp enough blade on there. Um, this is gonna be my rectangle. Then with these signs, I was trying to not get the two holes on my boxes. So I had to cut it on the top and I had to cut off the bottom because I knew the topper of my box was gonna cover one of the holes and then the other hole I cut off. So again, doing a second box. So you should have three boxes total, or if you wanna make this like super big, I mean, cut a million boxes, I don't care. All right, so after we are done with that, I wanted to show you that this paper actually comes off super easy on these signs anyways. If not, you could cover it with shipping paper on the back. So now I'm taking a, some scrap paper. I got this like huge bundle pack from Hobby Lobby last year. You are going to trace out your boxes. Now the one on the left that looks like wood, I'm gonna keep that wood. And then the two square boxes, I'm gonna put the scrapbook paper on. So as per usual, we're gonna grab our Mod Podge, adhere our scrapbook paper, smooth it out, and then I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on the top. We're gonna do the same thing with the second box, but I'm gonna be choosing a different scrapbook paper. And you guys could really, it doesn't even have to be Christmas. You can make this like birthday. You can make this Halloween. I mean, you can really do anything. Now I'm going to take these paint stir sticks. Now these, no joke, were just scraps and they were the perfect size. So for one of them, I'm gonna put the scrapbook paper on and you want these to be just a little bit longer so that you have overhang, just like I'm doing here. That's gonna be the top to our present box. And then for my other two, they were like same charcoal gray, but I wanted them black. So I'm gonna paint the other two black. Again, there's no specific like size I could give you because it's all gonna depend on how you cut your boxes, like what shapes and all of that. So you just wanna make sure there's overhang. So I'm gonna hot glue those to the top of these boxes, making sure they're flush with our square. Then I'm gonna play around with placement. These can totally be like crazy and like you can stagger them all wonky, you can stagger them side by side, but I'm gonna do um, one kind of in the middle. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm um, putting the boxes on top of each other. Then I'm marking it off with a pencil. So you'll see right here, I'm gonna mark it off with a pencil. That way I know that I cannot put my hot glue above that line so that it's not all messy and gross. All right, so now we gotta accessorize. So I'm using this Dollar Tree bow. I'm gonna put that on the bottom one. Then I'm gonna take some red burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna make a basic bow. If you guys want me to do another bow tutorial video that would be in real time, comment down below with a bow emoji or just let me know and then I can get one going for you guys. Okay, so then I'm gonna put that red. I love this red color. And this was a last minute decision. I think it definitely tied everything together. Just a little pop of glitter, which I love. And then we, to finish this off, I'm just gonna put a little twined loop on the back of it and look at how stinking cute this Christmas DIY is. And the Christmas tree and the container it's in, I did that one last year. So um, there is a video on that. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next one. All right, you guys. So that was the first Christmas DIY. I hope you like it. I always put my first one 
as my favorite one. My favorite one is my first one. You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Anyways, I just want to say thank you. You guys gave me so much love on the last Christmas in July video. I didn't do these types of videos last year, so I was kind of like, uh, I don't know if I should do them, but it was something that was bringing me joy. So I was like, H-E to the double hockey sticks. I'm going with it. I don't care who likes it or doesn't like it. So thank you to all of you that do like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Christmas DIYs. And you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the channels, if you're digging the DIYs, then make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and also leave me a comment. Comments are really important. It lets YouTube know that you're engaging with my video and then they're more likely to share it out to other people. So you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for digging Christmas DIYs and let's get back into this video. Oh, I know this has been done a million times, but I've never done it on my channel and I knew I wanted one in my home this year. So I'm going to take the wood grain charger plate from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do a messy coat of the chalk paint and I want this just to be super simple and I don't want to say elegant because it's more rustic. But anyways, I'm going to take the chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. If you guys have not tried the chalkboard paint, it is so good. I have the inside of my pantry door painted with this and it has lasted for over a year now. So I'm just going to do one coat of this. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I am going for like a rustic fill, so it doesn't have to be super clean in my eyes anyways. And then we're going to let that dry up. I'm going to go ahead and accessorize this with a Dollar Tree bow. And then I'm going to grab some, these are these leaves came from Walmart picks. And if you guys have not checked out Walmart picks for Christmas, do it this year. So I, again, just that little addition of a sparkle, that red and black bow to tie it all in. And then lastly, we need to season our chalkboard. And the reason you season chalkboards is so that your chalk does not stain. Meaning if I were to write 25 directly on it, and then try to wipe it away, that 25 would not wipe away. So you wanna season it. And then I'm going to put your usual, you know, days until Christmas. And I love how this turned out. Again, I know it's been done a lot of times, but I wanted one for my house and maybe it's something somebody hasn't seen or the charger being the wood grain one would be a little different. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and just, it shows you how like simple you can be, but it makes such a statement. And again, this would be a great seller if you have a booth or you do like craft fairs as well. So I wanted to remind you guys that I do have a membership. You can join with the join button down below and we have member only lives. There's custom badges and emojis. I share some of my Cricut designs with you. You get first looks at videos sometimes even my thumbnails so definitely check that out all right this one's so beyond easy you guys I got this during Easter and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my painters tape and I'm gonna paint paint I'm gonna tape off that center MDF board which pops up and I'm gonna grab my uh, rich black by folk art now I did two coats of this just because the black lettering kind of was popping through but what I realized was it's kind of like engraved in that MDF but we end up covering it up either way. So I don't really think you need two coats of black, but you know, you do you. And next I'm gonna take some plaster, or actually that's my recycled paint from the craft kits. And I'm gonna distress the wood. It was a little too brown for my liking. And I found these Christmas trees that I had gotten at Dollar Tree last year. The wood cutouts, whenever Dollar Tree brings them out, I stock up on them because they sell out so fast. So I get a few packs and then I just put them away so I have them for the next year. So I'm going to use a red. Again, these are leftover paints from the craft kit um, video that I did a couple weeks back. And I'm going to do three of these. Then we're going to take our sign and I'm going to lay them out first so that I get that positioning right. The space is right Ugh, already like that red pops so much. I love it. I thought about putting like twine bows on it, but the tops of the trees were so small that it took away from it being a Christmas tree. So I decided not to do any bows. 
And lastly, again, we will have a, another decal. And you guys, if you are a member, these are already sized and ready to go for you. I will share the link with you after this video. And this is how cute this turned out. Again, look at how bright that red is. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It was so easy to make, great beginner project. Let me know what you think about this one. So we're gonna take some glass pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna save this jute cord because we will use it again later. Now I'm sorry, um, either I forgot to press record or my phone didn't record the um, end of this one, but I think you guys will get what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna take off the jute cord. I'm gonna go outside and spray paint them black. Now bringing them inside, I am gonna try the DIY clear wax. Now, my thinking on this was, I thought maybe it would do something different with the white wax. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I put the, the clear wax on and you could see how it makes it a little bit more glossy. And then I apply the white wax, but I don't really think it made any kind of difference. I think what it usually does is just make the wax more movable. Um, but either way, it turned out beautiful. And what I did not record, you guys, is I hot glued the jute cord back around. I added a finger bow, and then I just added some Dollar Tree florals to the inside to make two little floral arrangements. And what's nice about this is you can take the floral arrangements out and you could still use these black um, wax containers to um, to decorate your home throughout the season. So let me know if you enjoyed this one. All right, last but not least, you guys, if you see these wood rounds at Dollar Tree, buy a bunch of them. These are gonna be amazing for crafting. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking antique wax, I am taking a baby wipe, and I am just smoothing that on over this wood. I like this process because it's fast and it dries super quickly. I like speeding up the process by using my heat gun. And after this dries, we're gonna apply the painter's tape and I'm doing it a little below halfway. And next I'm gonna grab my um, Rich Black by Folk Art. I only need one coat of this and I do make sure to get the, the little skinny sides as well just to make it look nice and finished. Once that's dry, I'm gonna take my daubers and I'm gonna dip it in a red. I believe these are in my Amazon store link down in the description box. And I just wanted a little bit more detail i guess i didn't want it so plain so i'm going to put that around the top perimeter and now you guys i talked about the walmart picks this is a dollar 50 at walmart so make sure you check out the picks at walmart this coming season because they are amazing quality so i'm going to hot glue that i'm going to put a nice healthy amount on there i'm going to let it set up before i play around with my bow and Next, I'm gonna make one of my basic bows. I did two loops, and then I am going to find the middle. I will then do a um, cylinder to go into the middle here. So there's our cylinder. And I am going to cut notches into the middle. You don't wanna go all the way through. Take a zip tie, feed that through, tighten it up, and then you're gonna pull those loops right on out so that you have a nice full bow. I love how that bow turned out. And then I'm gonna hot glue that on. Now I did have to add a little piece of greenery to hide the big glob of glue that I put behind the bell, but it all worked out. All right, and then we are going to take our decal that I made on my Cricut. Again, if you are a member, these are already gonna be sized for you in the link. So all you gotta do is cut them out, and if you do the same sign, then they're all ready to go for you. So I put those smack dab in the middle, and that is it, you guys. And like I said, these like this cost me probably a total of maybe 
$3.50, $4. And if you do craft shows, you could sell this for about 16 if you have booths, or if you just want to do them for gifts this holiday season, it would be absolutely amazing. So you guys, that is it for Christmas in July this Thursday. I really enjoyed doing these for you and make sure to leave me a comment and let me know which one was your favorite and I'll see you back here on Saturday for Spotlight Saturday. Can I just say the whole way Bloober started on this channel in the first place was because I was wearing red lipstick and I was doing my intros and then realized it was all over my teeth and that's that's how bloopers started. Did you see that little thing? I think it was just dust. Don't say it's the spirit. Look, there's another one. Okay. If you guys haven't seen this stuff, I mean, I've decorated since then, but it's on my vlog channel. These cabinets are amazing, by the way. And so is this. Okay. Anyways. I... Uh, uh, I don't know why I always have to end with. <laughs> Who is that? What video? What movie is that from? Oh, uh, Tim Allen on um, Santa Claus Rainbow's Purple Shisho.